Welcome to the homework for lesson 29. This is module 5 of grade 3. Please write your name here first. It says labeling each shaded fraction and we'll use less than or that's greater than less than or equal to signs to compare. Uh, now let's look at how many equal parts there are. 1, 2, 3, 4. And there's 1, 2, 3 of those. There's these are twelfths, and there's five of them shaded in, so it's five twelfths. And this one has one, two, three, four, five, six equal pieces, so there's sixths, and it looks like one, two, three, four, five of them are shaded in, so it's five, six. And you'll notice a theme from the last homework, which is we're comparing fractions that have numerators that are the same but different denominators. You can just look at this and see which one's has more shaded in and think alligator eats the bigger number 5 twelfths is less than 5 sixths this is uh, number two here it has six equal parts for this hexagon and that's going to be all of them shaded in so that's six out of six and this one here this hexagon has each sixth cut in half which makes it look like it doesn't look like all these parts are equal to each other the way it's drawn but um, we're going to assume that they're equal parts uh, and that's half of them are shaded in for the twelfths right we have six one two three four five six so there's twelve equal parts and six of the equal parts are shaded in and you can just see, look at it, what's, what looks like it has more shaded in. The whole thing shaded in there. 6 6 is greater than 6 twelfths. And this one is 2 fourths. And this is 3 rows of 3, so it's ninths. And there's 2 of them shaded in, so it's 2 ninths. And you can look at it, fourths have larger, fourths are larger than ninths, so two-fourths. One-fourth is bigger than one-ninth. Two-fourths is bigger than two-ninths. Greater than. And this is one-half. And this is two rows of three, which makes six equal pieces, and one of them shaded in. And a half is greater than a sixth. Partition each number line into the units labeled on the left. Then use the number lines to compare the fractions. So if you're not sure how to do this, this number line right here is going to be thirds. This one will be in sixths, and this one will be in ninths. So thirds from zero to one. We need three equal parts. I'm just going to have to guess a little bit. That's That first third looks a little smaller than the other two, but it's as good as I'm probably going to get it. For six, I'm just going to try and get these to kind of match up. Six is going to be each third cut in half. And that's about as good as I'm going to get it. And then the ninths, right, each third will be cut into thirds for drawing ninths. So let me go like that. And then what you can do, and think about this, for the sixths, you're going to have halfway in between these two is going to give you this mark here and halfway in between these two is going to give you that mark there for one of the ninths and I just confused myself my strategy is not working let me erase the ninths and start over here So ninths here, I'm going to go with the thirds and make each third into thirds and not look at the other lines. There, that's not too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine equal parts. Okay, those are ninths. So two sixths would be here. So, so, um, 
Okay, then use them. So I'm going to label the fractions that it's asking me to label. So two sixths is going to be right here. Two sixths. And two thirds is here. Two thirds. And if you want, you could label every single one, right? So this would be zero thirds, one third, two thirds, three thirds. And you could label them like that. And so I'm going to even plot them. There's two thirds. And there's two sixths, and you can see two thirds is greater. So, or two sixths is less than two thirds. Now we're looking at five ninths, which is one, two, three, four, right here. That's five ninths. And five sixths, five sixths is going to be here, five sixths. And five sixths is larger, you can see, because it's far, it's farther ahead on the number line. It's longer from 0 to 5 6 is longer than from 0 to 5 ninths. So 5 ninths is less than 5 6. And we're looking at 3 thirds, which is all the way to the end. That's the whole. And 3 ninths, which is 1, 2, 3. There's 3 ninths. And 3 ninths is here. 3 thirds is there. And I can use, I can use like a different color just to plot where all these points are just so we can really find them easier with our eyes. Three-thirds, the whole thing is greater than three-ninths. And now we're drawing our own models to compare the following fractions. So we're going to compare tenths and eighths, and here's six and ninths. So the thing about drawing these models to compare fraction is, is if you're going to draw, say you're going to draw rectangles, don't draw them like this side by side and do your tenths here. Do your tenths there and your eighths here. Don't do it like that because you won't be able to, it won't make any sense. So you can't really compare them when they're side by side. What you want to do is draw them above and below so that you can see which one, when you shade them in, which one is longer and goes farther. You want the endpoints to line up. So you want to show that the holes are equal like this. It's really hard to tell the holes are equal when they're side by side. But when they're above and below like this, then you can see which one goes farther. It's a lot easier to tell. And you can do this with number lines too. Same thing, same rule applies with number lines. The only way that this works if you draw them side by side is if you're using circles. And for some fractions, circles are just... Circles are a pain for drawing tenths. You can do it, but it, 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 it's a pain to get it to look right. And the uh, same thing with, with uh, ninths and sixths. It's kind of, it's just, it's just a pain to do circles for those. So let's see. Uh, eighths is the easiest one because it's halves and then halves of halves is fourths and then halves of fourths is eighths. So there's eighths. And tenths is a bit of a pain because that's going to be half, and then we have to make each half into fifths. And we're just going to guess that it's going to be like uh, there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's, that's pretty good for doing tenths. Seven tenths is going to go, that's five. Six will be here. Seven will be there. So that's seven tenths. And here's seven eighths is going to be almost all the way to the end because eight eighths would be the whole thing. So seven eighths is one less eighth. And you can just see the seven eighths is longer. We're going to do the same thing with sixths and ninths. And the longer you make these pieces of tape, the more it will really show in your picture. If you make these really short, like this, it's gonna, when you chop this up into ninths, the, the difference between ninths and six is not going to look like anything at all. So the longer you make the lines when you draw these fraction bars, the easier it's going to be to tell, to compare the fractions. And it, get, it gets a little bit easier, too, to... to uh, to, to divide the fractions up. So six, that's half, and then each half is into thirds. 
and that'll show us there. So let's see. Third and ninths is going to be thirds of thirds. So here's our thirds marks. That's about a third, right? And then we'll make these into each third into three equal parts. That's pretty good. All right. So four six. I'm going to label this four six. Maybe one two three four shaded in and then four ninths is one two three four four nines you can see four six is greater alligator eats the bigger number for our project michelo michelo i don't know how to pronounce that he used three fourths of a glue stick yaman used Three sixths of an identical glue stick. So Michello used three fourths. So this is this is the top one is in fourths, so that's Michello. And Yaman is sixths, so this one has to be his. Um, and they're identical glue sticks. Who used more of their glue sticks? So Michello used three of the fourths. One two three and you'll notice we're counting the same number of units but it's the size of the units again and again we're comparing you know three fourths to three six so we're comparing four six you know we're comparing four six to four ninths or seven tenths to seven eighths so the big idea is that it's the fractional unit that matters especially when you're the size of the fractional unit that matters when you have the same number of units so when you have a bigger unit you're going to have more if your unit's bigger so let's see, uh, as long as you have the same number of units. And uh, this is six, this is three, six, one, two, three. There's our picture. Uh, be sure to label one hole as one glue stick. Okay, so here we go. One glue stick. One glue stick stick uh, so there's my model supporting the answer I could also uh, probably should label these fractions one fourth one fourth one fourth one fourth and one sixth Uh, oh, and I have to write an answer statement. Who used more of their glue stick? Uh, and that's um, Michello. Used more glue. And I'm going to write that his three fourths was greater than three sixths after gym class Jansir drank or Jansir Jansir drank two eighths of a bottle of water well this top one here looks like it's in eighths one two three four five six seven eight okay so that's eighths and Jay drank two fifths so this is Jansir and this is actually let me write it on this side and jade and let me label this as one one bottle of water each so that the end point is labeled and we know that they both have the same hole uh, Yancer drank two eighths, so these are all eighths. And he shaded in two of them. And Jade has two fifths, so each one of these is a fifth. And 
Jade drank two of those fifths. The question is who drank less, less water? Chancer, Seer. Oops, I'm going to spell his name wrong there. I can't pronounce it, but at least I can spell it. Chancer. Water two eighths is less than two fifths. <laughs>